Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and today we're going to go over all the different ways you can create a roof in Revit. So this is the roof command in Revit. You can open it up and you can see a couple of different ways you can create roofs in Revit. But for now, we're just gonna hit here and start the command. Now, you're immediately going to get this notice and it says that we're on level 1 and that's the lowest level and it asks us if we want to go to level 2. So we're just gonna click no, it doesn't matter, we don't have any walls right now, so it's really not important. So now we're in roof command. Here in the properties panel you can open up all the different types of roofs or basically the construction of the roof, all the layers. We're just going to be using this generic for 400 millimeter. Here we have tools that we can use to create our roof. Uh, now we're creating a boundary line. So if we take this rectangular tool, for example, we can create basically a rectangular w roof, but let's make it a bit more interesting and different. So I'm just gonna hit this and then I'm going to go with trim and extend to connect these. Now, once we've done this, we go back to the modify tool and you can see every line has this little triangle over here. That means that every basically every line defines a slope. When we select, here we can see defines slope and we can uncheck it. And now this does not define slope. So let's leave this one unchecked and see what happens. I'm just going to check out of this. Go to 3D view. And you can see here is our roof it's perfectly constructed by Revit and here where we didn't define the slope there is no slope it just ends like this now we can select it and go to edit footprint again we can either edit it in 3d or go back to level one now we can turn the slope back on and here we can set the slope for every each line so here it's 30 degrees at the moment so I can change it I can put it let's say to 20 on each of these side ones or let's do 10 so we can see the difference better and now when we check it and go to 3d you can see these are 30 degrees and these are 10 so now we can see the difference so I'm going to select this roof and delete it I'm going to go back to level 1 and start the roof command again. We get the same notice, I'm just going to say yes. And I'm just going to do a rectangular roof. And now we're going to see what this slope arrow means. This is basically if you want to create a bit more complex roofs with some gables or whatever. So in order to use this, we're just going to take this line command and just make marks. This is not really the roof construction. We're just using it to mark certain places over here. Once we've done that, we can maybe use the dimension tool to make it equal. And just hit here EQ. Now everything is equal. Escape. We can delete this go back here and use the split element tool the shortcut is SL and we're going to split this line in these three places now we don't need these lines anymore so we're going to delete them I'm going to select these two and I'm going to uncheck the defined slope now I'm going to use this slope arrow tool and create one arrow going this way and another arrow going this way I'm just going to select both of them and we have level at tail and level at head. It's the same level, doesn't have to be different, but the height offset will be 0 at tail and I'm just going to put 2000 millimeters at head. I'm going to check it and let's see what happened. Now you can see we created a bit of a gable over here. Okay, now let's make a roof by extrusion. First we need to go to this roof tool, open it up and here we have roof by extrusion. But it's smart first to draw 
basically a reference plane on which you will draw your roof extrusion. So I'm going to go to this ref plane, hit it, and just draw a random reference plane over here. I will name it, just call it roof. And you can basically see it from the south elevation that is important. And now let's go to roof by extrusion. Open up this drop menu and click here. Now we need to specify the new work plane on which we will draw our roof. So we're gonna select this pick plane and say OK and we can pick it. And now it shows us basically which elevation we want to use or which view we want to use to view it. We're going to choose south elevation and it asks us which level do we want to associate our roof to. We're just going to choose level 2 because it's the upper level and I'm going to say OK. Now here I can create a roof because it's a roof by extrusion I can create elaborate shapes maybe using this spline tool and I'm just going to hit OK and see now we have a roof by extrusion when you select it you can change the extrusion start and the extrusion end let's go to 3D view to view that see here is our roof maybe make it a bit more realistic see and now when we select it we can change the extrusion end and the extrusion start see now it's shorter or we can use these grips over here to change it so that's how you create a roof by extrusion now when you select any roof you can go here into the properties panel and you can find different kinds of roofs maybe this one now this you really see when you're in a section so I'm going to go to level 1 or maybe level 2 to see the roof and I'm going to cr basically create a section through this roof click on the section and now we're going to go into a, a fine detailed view and see here we can see all the layers of our roof now if we want to change our roof layers we can select it go to edit type duplicate it and create new roof now we ha have a new roof and we can go and edit all the roof layers this is quite similar to wall layers so I will not be going into this there is a video in the description beneath so you can see everything you need to know about creating layers in Revit. So I'm just gonna say OK, OK and that's it. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about creating simple roofs in Revit. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video and have a nice day.